A flood emergency is continuing to unfold in Victoria as we go to air this morning, with evacuation warnings in place for three communities, including two towns that were smashed by floods in 2022. The rain has eased, however record totals were recorded in parts of the state yesterday, with the focus now shifting to the threat of rising rivers. Residents in Rochester, about 180 kilometres north of Melbourne, have this morning been told it is now too late to leave. An evacuation warning also remains in place for low-lying areas of Seymour. And residents in low-lying parts of Ye, about 110 kilometres northeast of Melbourne, were last night told it was too late to leave as well. We've got reporters right across the flood zones this morning. Let's go straight to Tyrone Dalton at Bendigo in central Victoria and Courtney Withers at the Victorian State Control Centre. Tyrone, firstly to you, good morning. What's the latest? Good morning, Michael. So, as we heard at the top of the program, the authorities have issued a warning to residents that it is too late to leave the town. That's due to the fact that they, want, they don't want them driving through floodwaters through the town and risking their safety in doing that. Uh, authorities say that they are confident that they can protect the 30 houses that are at risk of flooding. So, as we know, Rochester was hard hit last uh, in 2022, and so there's a lot of nervous energy in the town this morning and yesterday, waiting for those floodwaters to peak. Uh, that's expected to happen later on this morning. At, at 6 a.m. this morning, the major flood level in Rochester was hit. And uh, so SES believe that they can protect these 35 homes, which is most important to the residents at the moment. It is uh, understandably rattled after the last big flood there uh, in late 2022. So what's being planned at this stage, Tyrone, for support for flood victims? Yeah, so I spoke to the Premier Jacinta Allen yesterday and uh, at that press conference she flagged that more ongoing support could be provided in the coming days. What they're really hoping for is for those floodwaters to recede quickly so they can get uh, impact assessors in there as soon as possible to assess the damage that has been done to homes, to roads uh, and to uh, businesses to see what grants and what support is needed going forward. OK, Courtney, to you now. What's happened more broadly across Victoria overnight? Good morning, Michael. Well, it's been a nervous night for many told to evacuate overnight as that flood water remains relentless across many towns after record-breaking rain yesterday. Uh, we know it seems that heavy rainfall has now finished across central parts of Victoria and they have been the worst hit, but it's definitely moving into flooding and river rain flooding this morning. That volatile weather system started on late Sunday afternoon in the northwest of the state and moved east, taking with it central Victoria, and that certainly was the worst hit. Now, starting in Seymour, to recap last night, the Goulburn River inundated Seymour yesterday, breaking its banks across parts of that town. We know around 50 properties were at risk overnight of first floor flooding, and we're waiting to see the impact this morning as well across Shepparton and Wangaratta. The town of Heathkit in central Victoria also was a town that really copped a lot of that flooding this morning as well. Yesterday they received up to three months worth of rainfall in, you know, 24 hours. It was 184 millimetres recorded yesterday, so they were really impacted in that area. Bendigo as well, 92 millimetres recorded in 24 hours. Uh, on the ground in Central Vic, we really saw quite confronting images yesterday. Residents knee-deep in flood water, walking through the town, surveying the damage. We saw images of cattle stranded on banks and towns completely flooded out and roads inaccessible throughout central Victoria. It was quite terrifying for many residents getting that too late to leave warning uh, and being told to evacuate to centres and relief centres across the state. Townships of Seymour and Yay received that evacuate immediately warning yesterday afternoon and the SES say they received 1,200 calls for help in 24 hours, including 38 flood rescues uh, from Sunday afternoon. What conditions can we expect today, Courtney? 
Well, Michael, the Bureau says that, that heavy rainfall has definitely eased today. However, it's moving east across the state, likely to hit parts of Gippsland with scattered showers this morning. Uh, Rochester, there is going to be major flooding there today, expected to peak. Uh, the rivers, the Campaspe River is definitely one they're watching this morning. It's still under threat following heavy rainfall yesterday. Uh, the catchment around Bendigo, that river is set to peak as the major flood level uh, reaches probably going to reach around 114 metres this morning. The town of Seymour is completely shut off. Sh shops are closed, roads are closed. Residents are at the aquatic centre there for a relief centre, likely to provide uh, get updates this morning about what the next steps are, but they are completely shut off in that town. Emergency services are also focusing on riverine flooding, including in Shepparton, Wangaratta, Rochester and Echuca, likely to be affected by flooding flooding in the next few days. So today is not the only day they're going to see flooding. It's likely to continue for the rest of the week and 500 homes are at risk there as well. Each river system is different, of course, so we can't really call today what's going to happen as flooding could likely continue. And there is river systems across the state are already really full from the last few days. There are a few emergency warnings still in place this morning and evacuate immediately in low-lying parts of Seymour and emergency warning to late to leave in Rochester and low-lying parts of Ye. But Michael will bring you more updates throughout the morning on this devastating flood impact in summer in, in Victoria. Yeah, gee, it just gets worse and worse in many areas. And just clarifying that river level 11.4, not 114 metres. Courtney, thank you so much for the update. And Tyrone will obviously be keeping a very close eye indeed on Rochester over the next few hours. Thank you for your update too.